Hello, so after my review of 2012, the Mayan Calendar, a cooperative game, I had a request to do a quick instructional video to, to so people can see actually how the game is played because I don't usually do that very well in my reviews. Not something I particularly enjoy doing, um, but it's okay. This game is simple enough, I will do it. Uh, one thing I noticed when I was uh, setting this up is this down here, the 2012 game and the Mayan Calendar. Uh, there's this kind of casualness to this game uh, that I really enjoy. I was reading over the rules again and I was reminded of a passage that I like, so I thought I'd read that to you before I get started. Um, moving from one connected space to another equals one action. And I'll let you read along. Equals one action. Note that some power centers are connected to seaports, and thus in one action you can move from the center to the connected seaport. Not all centers are connected to a seaport, but all are connected to airports. Moving to a seaport can be a good strategic move. Keep the option in mind. Moving from one airport space to another airport space or airport equals one action. You can fly only from airport to airport. <coughs> Moving from one seaport space to another seaport equals one action. You can sail only from seaport to seaport. Staying on the same space equals one action. So I, I really enjoy that. The rules are enjoyable to read. Um, they're not necessarily that clear, uh, but it's a simple game. It probably takes a little longer to understand it from the rules than if, uh, if they were written a little more clearly, but it's definitely an enjoyable read, so I'd recommend it if you, if you do pick the game up. Um, so I've, I've done most of the setup. It's not a lot. Uh, all I did was, you have these building markers here. I put five of these on each city space. I laid out the board. I put a cube here as a turn marker. Um, we're playing with two players, purple and a red up there. And then um, I, I randomly shuffled up these cards and gave them each a special job. So we have a builder and a pilot going purple's builder, red's pilot. So now we've got to decide where they're going to start. And we do that by rolling a die, a four. That'll be purple. Purple will start at four here. Then this is a, a mechanism that the game uses quite a lot for a lot of things. So it's the basic die mechanism right here. We're going to roll the second die and just add it to the first five. Um, so the idea is it spreads things out. And that's actually how you do the peril as well. So at the start of a turn, you, you have to roll peril. So we're going to start with the builder turn here. We'll go January 10th and roll a one die. That's a four, so we're going to put this, we're going to find the four track, that's the four peril track, and we'll put it right there at the starting space. Then we're going to roll another one. And two, that's a six. So we're going to put this on the six space, and i got to find where that is. There's the six, ah, okay, right there. All right, so then purple, he gets the ability to take one material from anywhere at no action cost. There are no materials showing. Oh, I think, actually, I'm supposed to turn one of these up. Yes. It's been a little while since I've played this game. And so, turn one up on each of the things. You get to watch this exciting setup process. There's a material. I'll probably just grab that. My goal is to not stop the camera um, and just play quickly, relatively quickly, so you can get a feel for the game. I'm not going to play the whole game, though. Um, probably just a couple turns would be all that's necessary. Alright, so he'll take, since this guy's kind of close to there, he'll take a material from over here where no one's at. And he has that. And then he can move up to four. Um, so we have this, this thing's coming down this way to this circle of center of power where he's at. So I think he's going to try and deal with that. So he's going to go one, two, and that'll Finishing that move lets him take one. Flip up another one, see what it is. Then he'll just stay there. Three. And flip up the next one. And if this is a bulldozer, it is. That's good. Four. So now he has everything he needs um, to go here and, and make a place of power. And I think he can... I'm not sure if it takes more than one action to put those down. I, I'm going to break my rule already and stop it to look that up. Yeah, so if he goes here on his next turn, he can add all four of those. I, that's what I thought. I just wanted to double check if it was one or one or more. All right, so now we're going on to the red player's turn. And we'll roll one. He got a one. So that's going to put this over here. Bloop, 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 boom. And then 
two. That's a three. So we're getting lots of low rolls here. There's nothing over here. Um, there we go. Three, and now he gets four actions. Now he can his abilities. He can move from airport to airport for free. It doesn't take him anything. So where are perils? The four peril looks kind of locked up. Figures this guy can maybe deal with this one peril too. Um, so I think he's going to try and go over here. So he'll go. And that's going to take him one to get there because he's a pilot. Then he'll go here too. Pick that up. Whoops, accidentally turned too many. Um, three, I guess we'll get another one. And since I accidentally turned that up, he'll go ahead and. Well, no, I could leave it, but yeah, he'll take it. Four. And he'll just stay right there on this space. And we're going to start purples next turn. So when you have more people, there's a lot more trading of items that goes on uh, because you're more likely to be in the same area. Okay, so we got a five and, a, and then an eight. So we're going to put a marker there and then a marker on eight down here. And he'll go ahead and take care of this. One, two. That's going to let him put, and you're supposed to put these there, but you don't really have to. There's a, but there's a way to organize them. All right. Du, 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 du. Then we're going to have a place of power. I reversed those. Um, I use golden trees when I play this, um, but since it's not a standard component in the game, I'm not going to do that. Um, when I get a place of power, I put a golden tree there that I got from another game. Um, all right, so that was two actions. And then where does he want to go? He probably wants to go deal with this, right? So he'll go three, four, and that's going to end his turn. With that money. There's some materials, that's good. All right, red, our red pilot's turn, he got a five. And that's going to, so here, this is the first time this has happened. We already have a red cube there. So we're not going to place a cube there, we're just going to advance it. All right. And then a 1, that's a 6. So then we're going to advance the 6 as well. Uh, he's got a bulldozer there. He doesn't think he, he's going to be able to get everything he needs to deal with this 3 here. And plus the 6 and the 5 are starting to get to become trouble. So he's going to fly over. So he does need materials, so he'll go... That's 1, 2... Pick that up. Oh, whoops. And see what we got there. Oh, and I forgot for him to pick his free material. Three, and then four. He'll end his turn there. So next turn, he should be able to get that taken care of. All right, let's go back to our purple builder. One. Uh oh. If this gets him, he's dead. Three, that's a four. So. Since we have this golden cube here that's protected, there's a variant you can play where it's not protected. Um, I, I don't, I've never done that, so. Um, all right, so purple does want to take this, and he can actually, he could take it for free if he wanted to. And I think he is. He could take this one from over here as well, but he's gonna take that one. So he wants to leave that there for his friend. So he's gonna take that and see what he has. Does need that too, so that's his first action. I'm gonna see what this is. And that's not what he wants, he wants a bulldozer. Hmm. I already lost track of how many turns he's had, actions. Uh, I think that was two actions. I guess he'll go ahead and take it. Three. Turn it over. Ah. Uh, and da, 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 da. he needs a bulldozer. There's one over here. I think he's going to go ahead and go here and next turn hope to fly away. All right. Our pilot's turn. Six. Uh-oh. He has the materials he needs. Two. That's an eight. So it's sneaking up on him here. Our pilot's going to go here and dump, dump things off. One. This is one action to go there. Bing! So this red cube goes away. We've got two centers of power already. We're great. Okay, two, and he can fly here for free. He's gonna fly over here to help out. Where's the airport? There it is. 
Um, four. Actually, he could just pass this off to this guy. See, and then fly. Um, that's one action. Where does he want to fly to? I guess five. It was in danger. Is that right? Yeah. He'll fly here. Um, and then he'll go here for his final action and pick this up. Yeah. Four. Oh, more materials. Okay. So I think you kind of get the point, right? That's how it's played. Um, if one of these cubes gets to a center before a pyramid place of power is created, that one is lost, and you would place one of these on there. And then, oh, and I haven't been moving this. That's another thing. In between, uh, after every each person in, on a team takes a turn, then you move it forward, and so on. Or it might be after each person's turn. I forget. But you get a basic idea of how the game's played from this. Uh, with some holes in your knowledge. I apologize.